Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bryn. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you saw the title of the video, yes, finally it's here. My Bath and Body Works Halloween haul. So I'm vibing with this fall Halloween look today. And before I get started, I just want to give like a little disclaimer. So my neighbors, <laughs> I live by a really busy street and one of my neighbors has put out a sign that says honk for Pam. So I don't know who Pam is and why we're honking for her, but <laughs> if you hear honking in the background, that's why here we are. I don't know. But I hope you enjoy this video, so let's get into it. I'm super excited. If you don't know, fall is my favorite season and Halloween is my favorite holiday. I Halloween has never really been my favorite holiday until a few years ago. Um, if you don't know, my mom passed away recently and her absolute favorite holiday was Halloween. She went crazy every year and me getting really into Halloween, it just makes me feel so close and connected with her. So I just love Halloween. I love shopping for all the little Halloween decor and pieces. So anyway, this is getting to be too much of an introduction. So let's get into all the things I picked up from Bath and Body Works for Halloween. So I, they did, I did this in three different like transactions, but they did a special release for the app members. So you got to shop the Halloween items early. However, a lot of the items weren't on sale. I wasn't even going to participate, but a couple of the things were on sale or I thought I could afford. <laughs> So I did place an order, so I got uh, some items shipped to me. So first off, I'm just gonna start with a couple little things. I did get, I did get two uh, pocket backs. So I did get the Moonlit Graveyard, and I also got Vampire Blood. So these are just fun to have during Halloween time. And then I did have a coupon for a wallflower. Sorry, I forgot what they were called for a second. For a wallflower, so I ended up getting pumpkin carving. This is one of my husband's favorite scents for fall, so I did get one of these. And then I had a couple of rewards. So actually, I, I did have another coupon for a free mini item. So I ended up getting a Midnight Spell Diamond Shimmer Mist. This is so fun and so cute. Like the packaging is really pretty. It's a moon and like spider webs. I'm all about the packaging. The Diamond Shimmer Mist, I don't really know if I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be sparkly, but you know, Halloween, it's fun to just dress up and put all the sparkles and stuff on. So I might end up using this, but there's that. And then I did have a free reward for a, so I used it on a Midnight Spell body cream. And I blind bought these, so I did not know what this smelled like but I ordered it online and the scent notes are Mystic Air Moonlit Woods Crystal Amber. And I'm not obsessed with it. It's okay. It's kind of, it's definitely like a perfumey scent, which you guys know I'm not really into, but I'm really getting, I think the amber I don't know. It's just not really for me. And it's kind of light. So I don't think I'm going to get the shower gel, but the packaging on this is so pretty. So there's that. And then I decided to get a bunch of hand soaps because they were $3.50 and I figured that's a pretty good deal. I had a 20% coupon on top of it. So 
First up, I did get Wicked Vanilla Woods. The, this is definitely my favorite packaging of all the hand soaps. I love it. I love the black. I love the spider, even though I hate spiders. But during Halloween, it's okay. And I don't really love this scent. It is Magical Vanilla Glowing Amberwood and Enchanted Pink Pepper. Let's see. I don't know, something about this scent is like a little medicinal to me. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but I loved the packaging. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. Then next up, I have Moonlit Graveyard. And there's a scratch on here. And I'm pretty sure it's from my cat <laughs> trying to get into the box. So I don't think it was a shipping thing. But, oh, and by the way, all of these have, like, the matte black uh, lids, so, or the pumps. So, really cool. This one is Tombstone Moss, Cold, Foggy Air, and Eerie Incense. And I'm really getting the patchouli note. And something, like, mossy or like earthy is in there as well, but the packaging's pretty cute. I don't know why they decided to go with this blue color because it doesn't really scream Halloween, but it's pretty, so there's that. And then I had to get your good old Perfect Pumpkin, and actually the reason I got this was because of the cat. <laughs> I love cats, so yeah. Carved Pumpkin, Spooky Cinnamon, Moonlight Vanilla. And it's not really giving pumpkin to me. I don't know what that is. It just kind of smells like hand soap. I'm not really getting a strong scent of anything, but there's that one. And then I decided to get two of this one. It's the Spellbinding Sweets. And this is my second favorite packaging. I love the green. I love the ghost. This screams Halloween to me. I love it so much and the scent sounded amazing. So Haunted Lollipop, uh, Sweet Bubblegum and Bewitched Berries. I feel like this will just smell like candy. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm getting straight up bubblegum. I'm getting those lollipops with the bubblegum inside. That is exactly what this smells like. So I got two of those. And then the last thing in that order, I decided to go ahead and pick up this little school bag. It is so freaking cute. And I was seeing pictures of this online and people were saying it was really tiny, like a coin purse. But as you can see, like this is my hand. I mean, it's about the size of my hand. But it's really not that tiny. I mean, you could definitely fit your phone in here and a couple of other items. So, and I think it's supposed to just be like a crossbody bag that you just take out casually and not bring your whole life with you. So, I don't know. And it was $18.95. So, and I also had a 20% off coupon. These little gemstones, I feel like, are going to pop right off, though, so just be aware of that. And then it did come with a strap, so you can wear it as a crossbody. So I think it's really cute and just fun to have during the Halloween time. So I did get that. And then now I'm going to move on to all of the candles. So the first... Actually, this is between four different shopping trips. So, uh, okay, so I ordered that stuff online and then right, everybody's driving their motorcycles today. <laughs> Sorry guys. So right after that, they decided to do a candle sale, but they didn't include like the fancy candles. They only had the regular Halloween ones, but it was $12.95. So of course I had to get some. And right on top here, I, this is a monumental moment, you guys, because I have never purchased a vampire blood candle, but this year, this is the first year I purchased one and here it is, vampire blood. 
And the reason why I got this is for the packaging. It's a skull with a crown on and roses. And I just thought it was super cool. And I don't know, I just liked it. The lid is a bunch of skulls. And this scent is Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvania Plum. And this scent is super popular, but I just have never really been drawn to it or felt like I needed it. It definitely does not scream Halloween to me. It's a very fruity scent. And it's also like a, a little bit smoky, not like fireplace smoky, but there's almost like a dryness. I think it's the plum. And it's just, it's super fruity. So it doesn't really scream Halloween to me, but I love this packaging. So I got that. And then I ended up getting two of this next one. And it is pumpkin carving. So I got two of these. This one, this one has come back for the last couple years. And it is freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. And when I first saw the packaging online, I saw this, um, I can't remember where I saw it, somewhere on Instagram or something. I hated it. I honestly did not like the packaging, but when I saw it in person, it is so gorgeous. It's like almost perfection, Halloween perfection. It's just everything about it. And then I smelled it and this, this year, this one smells really like spicy. Normally the scent is like heavy on the pumpkin and it's just like a hint of spice, but this year I can really smell like the nutmeg or whatever's in it. What did I say? Brown sugar and spiced pumpkin seeds. It's It just smells really strong and delicious this year. So I decided to pick up two. Like this is my absolute favorite packaging like ever. So when you see stuff online, you guys really have to go in the store because you just never know if you're gonna fall in love with it or not. Like. The vampire blood, when I saw it online, I absolutely loved it. And then when I saw it in the store, I was like, eh, I mean, it's not as cool as it was online. So you really have to go in the store to see stuff. So that was it. And then they put out the fancy candles and the first sale they did was $14.95, which I decided to participate in because I think they're originally like, $35, $36.95, $36.95. Like that is crazy. <laughs> but $14.95, I was willing to bite the bullet and do that. So when I went in the store, I, I was, my plan was to get one of each. I didn't think that I was going to fall in love with the scents that much. So, but when I smelled them, so I'll, let me talk about the one I did not pick up. So I did not pick up the one with the snake, which is the midnight spell, I believe. And I just did not really care for that scent. And I figured like, what am I gonna do with that snake thing? Like nothing really. So I decided to pass on that one. So one that I did pick up, I decided to get one of the Everlasting Magic. And first of all, the packaging itself without the lid is so boring. Like if it came like this for $37, I would have been like, hell no. But this lid is so gorgeous. Well, the top is just like king skeletons with crowns, but the outside is like a gold crown and it's so gorgeous. And my idea is to like put it like this and burn the candle. So this lid is the only reason why I picked up this candle because let me tell you, the scent notes are bejeweled berries, phantom petals, enchanted, enchanted musk. And I don't smell much, honestly. 
This candle is so light and it's just kind of a perfumey berry scent. Such a pass for me, to be honest. I totally would have passed on this candle if it were not for this gorgeous lid. So I ended up getting one of those. And then the next one that I got, which is the last one, is the Moonlit Graveyard. And that's what it looks like. And it's got this wraparound, it's got the bird and this carriage, a moon, and what is this? Oh, the horse. And it is just so gorgeous. And the lid <laughs> is a little weird. Um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like this resiny material. And people are saying that this looks like a Halloween Oreo, which I have to agree with. <laughs> My husband actually said, he was like, I think someone messed those up and they just decided to sell them anyway. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's weird, but it's fine. And I actually decided, since I wasn't going to get the snake one, I decided to pick up two of these. And the scent notes are Tombstone Moss, Cold Foggy Air, Eerie Incense. And what I don't really get incense from this, but what I do get is heavy, heavy on that patchouli scent. So if you guys know what patchouli smells like, that's what this is. I'm also getting, I think I already told you guys with the hand soap, but I'm also getting like a mossy, earthy scent. And they just nailed it for like a graveyard scent. This is probably what a graveyard smells like if you're walking through one at night. So they really nailed it. But I mean, I don't hate it. I actually really like this scent. And for some weird reason, because it's a very unique scent. It's a very strong scent. And I recommend that you guys go smell this one in the store before you buy it. Because I feel like... It's either going to be you love it or you hate it. So definitely smell that one in the store. And if I were you, I would pass on the Everlasting Magic and the, um, what is it called? Midnight Spell. <laughs> pass on these unless you really like the packaging because they're so light and I don't think they're going to burn well. So that's just my opinion. Okay, now the last and final item I was so excited about. I didn't get much of the like candle holders or the wallflower plugs or any of that stuff because I just didn't see anything that I absolutely loved or that I had to have except for this one item. So, And then I went and bought this by itself with a coupon. So, um, and that is this skull wearing a crown candle holder. This is absolutely freaking gorgeous. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got like vines swirling in there. There's roses. There's another skull in there. There's pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. There's spider webs. There's everything Halloween like carved in here. That's the back of it. Spider webs. It's got a jack-o'-lantern and like roses, other skulls. And this thing is just so neat. And then the crown is that bright, vibrant, shiny gold. And this is pretty like it's kind of heavy, but not like so heavy. Um, it is like made out of plastic, but I just thought this was so cool. And I already have like too many skulls. I don't know why, like I have so many skulls, but, and this was $35, $34.95. So I think it's worth it. It's a lot bigger and it's like the size of my head. It's a lot bigger in person than I thought like I saw it online and I thought it was a lot smaller so I decided to get it and then let me show you what it looks like with a candle so oh my god that looks so cool so that's it with the candle in it I just love this thing 
so that's it you guys for my bath and body works halloween haul thank you guys for being patient and waiting and are you guys excited for halloween or are you still feeling summer let me know down in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and join me you guys for more halloween and fall videos they are coming i'm so excited so get ready and i will see you guys in my next one love you